Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I am now joined by University of Tennessee Martin Skyhawks linebacker and 2015 NFL draft prospect, Tony Bell. I appreciate you taking some time to join the show, Tony. What's going on? Uh, it's all right. Just getting out of practice. Uh, I'm more than welcome to be on your show tonight. Hey man, the pleasure's all mine, and I'm actually going to bring you back quite a few years. I know that you went to Kingsbury High School in Memphis, and you were named to the Tennessee Sports Writers All-State team as a senior. Uh, you played in the Liberty Bowl AutoZone High School All-Star Game. Uh, so with that being said, you had a pretty successful high school football career. Uh, why did you decide to attend the University of Tennessee Martin and play for the Skyhawks? Uh, I mean, it, it basically had a... A family atmosphere here when I came on a visit after um, I was going to visit some other schools, but I ended up coming here first, and then when I came here, I mean, the guys just grew on me, made me feel at home, and uh, I liked it ever since. Before you committed to UTM, did you have any idea that you would be uh, playing as a true freshman? And if so, how did that uh, affect your decision? Uh, not actually, because... Uh, when I came into here, I, it was some older guys that already lined up in front of me, um, juniors and seniors. So um, I was thinking that I was going to red shirt, and then one day the coach pulled me in the office and was like, uh, we expecting you to play this year, so you got to fill some big shoes and big roles coming out of high school, and that surprised me. So I had to grow up fast. Well, you went on to play in all 11 games as a true freshman, Tony. And in 2012, you had your uh, breakout year, uh, recording 78 tackles, four quarterback sacks, and two uh, fumble recoveries. Now, there's no doubt that you emerged as one of the top linebackers in the OVC. What was that transition like in 2011, only seeing limited snaps on defense and special teams, to being one of the top defenders on the team in just one year? Uh, I mean, it was a lot of hard work. I had to stay, sacrifice time. Staying here uh, over the summer, learning the playbook over the summer, working on extra drills that I can get better at with my position and my skill, and uh, a lot of film over the summer. And then once the season started, just like where everything was just clicking for me, like um, couldn't be stopped. Mm-hmm. Well, this season you guys are missing some great uh, players and leaders in Ben Johnson, Jeremy Butler, and DJ Roberts, just to name a few. How has that, the absence of those guys changed your role as a leader of the team? Uh, it has made me have to fill some big shoes, uh, most definitely with those guys. That Those was, was my leaders at the time, and they always kept me pushing and looking forward, staying positive. But now uh, the roles have changed, and I'm in their shoes, and the guys... Um, keep track of me. I got to lead them and uh, make sure everything's going smooth and make sure the team stay together no matter what happens. And, of course, that uh, 2012 season led to a bigger and better year for you individually, Tony. Uh, last year, you were able to register 80 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, 10 and a half uh, sacks, three forced fumbles, and three fumble recoveries. Uh, of course, having those uh, two spectacular seasons, what were some things you did to uh, better yourself and make sure you go out with a bang once your senior year is uh, all, all said and done with? Uh, well, going into my... Uh my junior year, I didn't really watch, like, my good plays. Uh, I sat down with the coach and, like, watched all the plays that I maybe took the wrong step, missed the assignment, or that I really just didn't give, like, the effort that I wanted to give. And we sat down and broke down, I mean, like, every play that I picked out. He let me pick out my own plays that I had made a mistake on or something. And I told my coach that I wasn't trying to make the same mistakes again my senior year. And, uh, my junior year, it started off good and it started off strong. 
Tony, it's been another impressive season for you. Uh, it seems like I'm just spitting out stats. Uh, so, so far, you've recorded 69 tackles, 19 tackles for loss, six and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, and an interception. Uh, that's one hell of a stat line. You guys are currently 5-6 and six on the season and take on Eastern Illinois this weekend, which will be the Skyhawks' final game of the season. Uh, last season, th those guys came into your house and won big 70-22. to 22. Oh, yeah. Has that oh, game yeah. come up at all during practice? It sure sounds like it. And are you guys seeing? Are, are you guys seeking revenge? I mean, um, of course we got to get some revenge. Those guys came into our stadium. I mean, they beat us pretty good. Uh, we got outplayed our coach. I mean, we was like everybody on the staff know that we played. We are better than what we played in um, the last game. And I mean, the coaches. We sat down. We went through all the mistakes from the sideline to on the field. I mean, they just had a better game than us that day. There was a solid team that day. And, uh, of course, we're going out this weekend to try to bring back the uh, wins and, and the win columns um, and seek revenge, like you said. Uh, of course, you guys have a totally different team from last year. And, of course, Eastern Illinois also has a totally different team, missing their uh, two top offensive weapons in quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo and wide receiver Eric Laura. Uh, what, what, what do you guys have to do this weekend to get the win? Oh, uh, they're a big, big run team right now. I think they average like maybe 300 yards a game rushing. So we coming out with the mindset on defense. We stop the run first and then make them pass one dimensional. Playing a one dimensional team is always good for a defense. Uh, very predictable. Chris Schaffel talking to University of Tennessee Martin linebacker and 2015 NFL draft prospect Tony Bell. And Tony, you guys started the season uh, playing the Kentucky Wildcats. And uh, it, it was just your guys' last game a couple weeks ago where you guys took on the number one team in the nation uh, at the time in Mississippi State. Being at a smaller school in Tennessee, Martin, are, are you happy that you guys are able to play teams in what many call the best conference in, in the nation in the SEC? Yeah, no doubt about it. Going against those guys, really, uh, I know me for myself. Let me see my talent level against bigger guys. I mean, um, they say that's the best conference in college football, so why not? I want to go out there and play and have a good game. And uh, that's one of the games that I remember for the rest of my life. Uh, when you guys played Mississippi State, they were, uh, like I said, ranked the number one team in the nation. Do you, do you feel that they, they deserve to be the number one team in the nation at that time? I mean, yeah, they, uh, they had a pretty tough schedule. They won all the games that came that way. I mean, they have uh, just made a couple sloppy plays and mistakes against us, but uh, no question, I think they were the number one team in the nation at the time. They deserve it. They worked for it. And uh, I wish the best for them the rest of the season. I believe you registered nine tackles and a sack in that game, so i, I got to get your thoughts on Mississippi State's quarterback, Dak Prescott. Many people compare him to uh, Tim Tebow. What do you think about that? Uh, I mean, he's, he's a good guy. He's a smart quarterback from what I've seen and when I played. Uh, very mobile. Um, you can't just bring him down with a long tackle or just trying to dive in. You would have to square that type of guy up and uh, bring your feet on the tackle. Chris Schaffel talking to University of Tennessee Martin linebacker and 2015 NFL draft prospect Tony Bell here on the CS Podcast. And uh, Tony, what do you feel are your biggest strengths as a linebacker? Uh, I got very good instincts and awareness from the linebacker position, first pass step. I mean, um, I can basically diagnose a play very fast um, on and off the field. I mean, get lined up. I mean, I'm pretty solid. Pass curve and runs. Now you're you're six foot six foot one two hundred pounds. There's been some chatter that if you have a shot to play in the NFL, that you you might have to change positions from linebacker to safety. What do you think about that? I mean, uh, uh, that two hundred pounds. I was uh, two hundred pounds as a freshman. I'm weighing in right now. It's like two thirty, two thirty five. Okay. Um, when I first came to uh, college football, actually, I was a safety originally. Uh, going into the spring, the camp in the spring, and then once we get a couple drills, more tackling drills on and off the field, I mean, um, they moved me to linebacker, and ever since then, I ain't looked back. So so you feel pretty confident that you could play uh, linebacker at the next level, right? Yes, sir. I can play either way, linebacker or safety. I mean, I can adjust. All right, all right. Now, uh, Tony, whether it was from last year, or I'm sorry, whether it was from this current season or all the way back to your freshman year, uh, what would you say is the biggest or most memorable play of your college football career? What play sticks out to you? Well, I mean, it got to be the play that ever got, 
got everything rolling. For the most part, uh, when we went down to Boise State, we went up to Boise State and played them on the blue turf. My first time ever going to Boise, um, everybody was so excited about the turf, and we started off rolling. I got the sack, forced fumble, um, got the ball back for our offense, then turn around, go back on the drive and get another sack. And we got everything rolling on my career at uh, UT Martin. All right, now, now I just got to get your thoughts on that blue turf, man. I, I'm personally not a fan. I know Eastern Washington, I believe they have the red turf. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of that, man. J- just stick plain and simple with the green. What, what do you think? <laughs> uh, I mean, I like the green, of course, because that's what I'm used to. But, I mean, uh, I guess the blue turf is for the fans. There's really no different than playing on it. And, uh, it was a little weird, but... I like the green better than the blue. All right, just just a couple more questions for you, then I'll let you go, Tony. I really do appreciate your time. If you would compare yourself to somebody currently playing in the NFL, who do you think that would be and why? Um, currently in the NFL, I kind of like uh, KJ Wright from the uh, Seahawks. He's yeah. like in between guy. Uh, he can get the run up. He can get in pass coverage. He can rush the passer. Or oh, then again, I like the Clay Matthews type if you play him off the edge. He also a run stopper in the pass rusher. So those two guys, most, most definitely I can compare myself to. Uh, I'll tell you what, man. I, I haven't heard KJ Wright just uh, in, in any other past interviews, but you know, you, you just mentioned uh, two of the probably the most uh, versatile uh, linebackers in the NFL, and, and I could certainly see that uh, fitting fitting your style. So, uh, two two good comparisons. I, I'll say that. Um, and, and last but not least, Tony, I mentioned uh, you know a few times during this interview that you're a 2015 NFL draft prospect. Any chances that you've heard from any NFL team scouts yet, and if so, what are they saying about you? Uh, I mean, I done talked to a couple. They just going giving the run, basic run down right now. Stay healthy. Uh, what I'm comfortable with, how my learning um, numbers for the combine, and they just been keeping in contact with my. I guess I had a couple talks with a couple scouts that went well, and basically I had to just finish up strong and do good at the combine. Hey, sounds good. Uh, Tony, once again, thank you very much for your time. I'm wishing you and your team nothing but the best this weekend against Eastern Illinois. Uh, and, and congratulations on a, on a very successful college football career, man. Uh, you got anything else for us before I let you go? Thank you, thank you. Just tune into the game. Hey, sounds good, man. I'll definitely, I'll definitely do that, man. Uh, you know, you, it doesn't get much better than Eastern Illinois and Tennessee Martin at the end of the season. Yeah. Uh, but, but once again, Tony, I really appreciate your time, man. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. All right. Take care.